we're going to do is we can double click on all of these and edit them. So we're going to call this episode 4, episode 5. You're very limited on, on uh, character space. It doesn't show it all up. So you got to be creative. And, and if you know stuff like The Walking Dead, you know what each episode is. And this is episode six. Now we're going to go change the color so we can actually read these on our TV screen. So again, go over where it says font settings. Hit yellow. Hit OK. Look at that. Now you can see them again. All right. Now we want to preview it. There's a little button down here to preview so we can get to see what our menu looks like. I'm going to come over here. It'll bring up the thing. you got to hit play to preview it. And this will be our menu. This is an actual preview of what the disc will look like when it's ready. Now, uh, we can select episodes with the remote here. So let's say we want to go to episode four just to play it. On AMC's The Walking Dead. Okay. Now, if you want to see that menu pop out again, Hit the menu button, and this will work the same on your remote control. You want to then, you can choose a different episode. Now, here's episode five, and again, episode six. Now, you can use the remote buttons. I'm kind of sort of cheating here by doing that. So let's go up and say we'll choose episode five and the remote. And then, now, if you want to just go back to the main menu in general, just hit top menu. Uh, the same things on your uh, HD DVD remote as well. Now, we want to go back because um, we realize we have about two gigabytes of room to play with in the quality section. So, remember this little icon down here with the gear? Well, we're going to click that. We're going to go into MPEG settings. We're going to customize it. Go to compression. And you're going to change that constant bit rate. Let's up it to 13,000 so we get a little bit better of a bit rate. Hit OK. And now we're up to 12.72 gigabytes. So we can probably add another 1,000 onto the bit rate and get it up to 14 and uh, have a good quality and room to fit disk. Am I right? Yes. Okay. We have 13.68 gigabytes used, showing a little yellow. You're fine. You're good. Um, you know, so 14.69 uh, is the actual thing. But we're actually using 13.68, an actual HD DVD, uh, depending on, they say 15 gigabytes, it's really 13.97. So we have room. Uh, we're going to click Next, down here, and it's going to bring us to the rendering menu. Now this is the rendering menu. Okay, now you have different options here. Sometimes this uh, section will be closed, so you have to hit this little tab over here. Okay. So if you hit this, because it'll show you, it gives you create the disk. You bring this down, and it gives you options to create HD DVD folders and create images. I go with the create image simply because I want to uh, be able to use image burn. The uh, writing function in ULED DVD Movie Factory sucks. It just doesn't work. The disks don't work. They skip. They jump. It's a bunch of crap. Now, we want to save our disk... Uh, image so we can find it because right now it's named Deadlands 1 Special Features version 2 which is what I call my PAL disks. So we're going to go to this folder here and as you'll see I'll bring up a window and we're going to call this uh, with the cap locks on TWD underscore disk 2 okay because uh, I already have a disk 1 and we're going to hit save and then when it's all said and done, you look over everything. If you want to create HD DVD folders, you can. I always suggest the create disk image uh, because, like I said, it works better with image burn. And then you just click burn. And it'll bring you to the new menu, and it starts doing its work. So that is how you create a 15-gig single-layer HD DVD in ULED DVD Movie Factory.